Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mr. Williams and I'm just going to give you a basic rundown, a tour tour of Autodesk Fusion 360. So this is the application based version, there is the browser based version. I'm going to stick with the application based version because there are more bells and whistles that you're able to do some things with. I may make a video down the pipeline to dealing just with the browser based, but for now we're going to stick in this realm. So there's a couple things I want you to point out. Uh, this is the vanilla, so I didn't change anything. Uh, pertaining to my ribbons, what I see, customizations, and so uh, for that intention purpose, I'm not going to do any customizations for any of my videos. So here's what we have so far. If you are not familiar with parts at all, here's how it's very easy to navigate your part. So say you have your part built, holding down the shift key and the mouse wheel, you will get this orbital pattern that allows you to spin your parts easily. I recommend you get used to doing that because just being able to spin and manipulate your parts easy is a big skill to have on making your time the most effective. If you scroll in, down, you will scroll into or zoom into your part. If you scroll up on the mouse wheel, you'll zoom out. Not only does it zoom in or zoom out, but it also goes in the direction of wherever your mouse is at. So if I were to zoom in on this bottom right corner, it will zoom in on the bottom right corner and so on and so forth. Same thing with zooming out. With doing that, you can really get lost on where your part is at. So very commonly we'll find, you know, people are, are stuck like this and they don't know how to get their piece back in order. Well, there's a nice easy button. It's hidden. It's this home button right here. So over, over this top right, you have what's called the view cube. This view cube allows you to click on any faces that you want to look at. But the first thing we talk about is this home button and it will take you back to whatever is defined as home for your part or your design. So what we got here is also on the view cube. It also tell you can take front. You can look at particular faces. You can turn how you orient those faces. You can also click on corners, either at corners of two planes, or you can do a corner where you're looking at all three. Down here, you can change your perspective if you click on this little drop down menu and, and reset your current home. And so you can kind of tinker with that as far as figuring out how to orient your piece the best. So we got the view cube, we're, we're learning how to do in this stuff, and so let's continue on. Up here in the top are all of your manipulations when it comes to being able to do what you need to do in Autodesk Fusion. What I don't recommend you do is go anything in these three tabs right here, surface, sheet metal, and tools, you really don't need. So you're gonna stick in the wheelhouse of using solids. Maybe down more complicated, more complex, after you've mastered solids, you could use surface and sheet metals to do some, some interesting things. But for here, we're gonna stick in solids. So don't even worry about those other three tabs. On this left side right here, you see what's called your browser ribbon or browser window. And so you can move this and make it disappear. So what I imagine some students are gonna do is they're going to click on some of these buttons and get things to not appear how they're supposed to be. So what you're going to do then is click on whatever buttons you need to do to hide it. So you can do the drop down in the browser, make it condense as much as possible. You can condense that drop down menu as well. If, and for some reason they decide to move this thing around, they can actually move this browser window and not be where it's supposed to be. And so what you need to do is just snap it right back into place and you are good to go. All right, so as far as browser windows, do not move where that thing is at. Down here in the bottom, we have what's called your timeline. So if we click play on this timeline, it will actually, and I'll give it a second to think because it's been a, a minute since I've built this part. It will actually show you bit by bit on how I made this part in Fusion. It'll show you my sketches, it'll show you my extrusions, and then it'll show you my final part. So down here on this timeline, if you ever want to edit something, you can right click and then edit that feature or right click and edit that sketch. Be really careful when you're editing things on the timeline because if you mess up something earlier in the timeline, you will affect what happens downstream. So you may have to re redefine it or reconstrain it. Alrighty, now we've got this piece overall. What can I do with it? So you can save your pieces. So clicking on this file tab, we can save 
we can export it as an STL or another CAD format. But the thing you're probably going to use the most is drawings. You're going to take your, your design and turn it into a drawing. The easiest way to do that is do new drawing from design. And then you can then uh, create your then drawing file. I have another video on making drawing files, so I'm not going to go into that. But um, you can make your own title block and then click OK. It will then open up a new tab. And here's what I'll talk about with tabs. Usually the tabs on other CAD format systems are on the bottom. Yours are now on the top. And so up here you have your parts. If they've been saved, it will allow you to close it. If they have not been saved, they will prompt you to save them. Next to this file tab right here, you have your data panel. Now this is a nice thing to know for later when it comes to being able to see things easily. And so this allows you access to your whole Autodesk Fusion SkyDrive quickly. So you can see every team you have. So I, you have your own personal project folder. That's where I put a lot of my major teaching files in. I have my class team for my current year's IED, and then I'm gonna be making a new team for the next year's IED class. That way they can see each other's parts and kind of work collaboratively later down the pipeline. All right, as far as the rest of this, you're really not concerned and you can not e don't even need to look at that one bit. You can click in here and this will bring you to certain parts. So if a student is having a really hard time on designing something but you're not there to see their computer, if you've set this up correctly and everybody joining the same team, you can then click on that team, click on the student, and then open up their parts. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click exit out of here. All right, and bring this back on over. All righty, now as far as overall Autodesk Fusion 360, and you wanna learn how to use the bits and pieces, um, below or kind of attached to this video is my 100 days of Autodesk Fusion where I just kind of go through one bit at a time or small practice problems. All of those videos take about anywhere from five to 10 minutes so you can learn those little bits and pieces at a time. All right, guys, if you have any questions or any comments or concerns, feel free to let me know, but we're gonna call this uh, video done, and you've now officially had a tour of Autodesk, 3, Autodesk Fusion 360. Okay, I'll see you later.